We'll talk showbiz from six, but we need to come back to the conversation right now about pay and public sector pay for healthcare workers. Anyone who works in public healthcare, are they worth a 3.9% pay rise? 14 health unions representing nurses and other NHS staff have written to the Chancellor spreadsheet, Phil, calling for a 3.9% pay rise. They say it's to make up for the pay cut they've seen in recent years once inflation is taken into account. You, know, you can work out the sums yourself. The move comes after the government abandoned its annual 1% pay cap for public sector workers earlier this week. Now, earlier on in the programme, I spoke to Dr Peter Carter, who is an independent healthcare consultant from Hertfordshire and a former General Secretary of the Royal College of Nursing. He told me that he doesn't think the pay request is unreasonable. The national debt is £1.7 trillion. Pounds. I mean, that is the debt that we've got, which is not going to be paid off in my lifetime or your lifetime or our children or our grandchildren's lifetime. I mean, it is absolutely a phenomenal amount of money. And currently, the repayments are £40 billion pounds a year. And what this pay rise would cost is £2 billion. Pounds. I actually worked it out in preparation uh, for this uh, uh, interview. That would put onto the national debt, I'm going to read it out so I get it exactly right, 0.0001%. It is a minuscule amount when put to the national debt, and my advice to the government would be give the public sector workers a half-decent pay rise, you'll put all talk of industrial action to bed, and you will reward people who've actually behaved incredibly responsibly over the last few years to prop up a financial crisis that was not of their making. Dr Peter Carter speaking to me. We'll stand back, prepare for some fireworks. Let's talk to Jonathan Davis, who's an economist and wealth advisor from Hertfordshire. Afternoon, Jonathan. Hello, Rob. <laughs> so let's pay it. It's just a drop in the financial ocean, Jonathan. As said by a medical doctor, as Ma the late Mandy Rice Davis might have said, he would, wouldn't he? Um, I, I, I don't doubt that um, the, there are complaints out there, but ultimately the unions are just doing their job. They're trying to get as much as possible for their members. But the idea that the public sector, let's move it away, please, from the health workers to all public sector, the idea that the public sector is particularly hard done by is, in my view, absolute arrant nonsense. Oh, if come on, like Jonathan. The public sector, they don't like the public sector pay. Let them try working in the private sector where the pay and conditions are worse. They don't get the same level of pensions. They have to retire later and so on. So I'm sorry. Um, th there's lots of complaints, but uh, that, that doesn't make them... Uh, Jonathan, sure, hang on, Jonathan. If we talk about all public health care workers. If, if you work in a private nursing... If you work in a private hospital, one of the big fancy hospitals, you're going to get paid more than a, 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 an NHS nurse, aren't you? Um, I, I don't know the specifics um, or, or, or pay differentials. I'm just talking about generally public sector versus the private sector. Um, private sector um, for commensurate work, be it in, I don't know, uh, logistics or retail or engineering, um, they are not paid as well. But overall, Jonathan, isn't this the about sector. doing the right thing, about doing the moral the, doing the moral? the moral right thing here because there's no good politicians double digit pay rise bankers we all know about you know they all the people at the top end they've done rather well needed money dup here's a billion pounds through the may found at the magic money tree in the garden at number 10 we're talking about the people who need the money the most who genuinely deserve a pay rise um well that that's a matter of opinion um uh the the uh, you know if you look at the way the health uh, uh, workers, uh, their pay is, uh, is made up. Um, actually, they've not been restricted on the whole to 1% per annum over the last several years um, because uh, every year they get more points and because of points, they get extra pay. On top of that, as indeed I was saying to your colleague Yasmin Khan just a couple of days ago, on top of that, income taxes have fallen, mortgage costs have absolutely plummeted, so the reality is that 
that uh, for anyone at this level of earnings, pay, or should I say net spendable uh, earnings have actually risen materially. Hold on, hold on. So, hang, on people, hang on. So healthcare workers, people who work in the NHS, you know, they're actually they're better off than they think they are. Um, they're better off than perhaps the TUC leadership are saying. Um, I, I would guesstimate, uh, certainly from listening to someone else on the BBC earlier today, people from the NHS were phoning in saying, I'm paid well, I don't complain about my pay, and well, my pay is really the good. Jonathan, to- not the top at the top end, they're laughing. And I heard yeah, that, well, again, you're... you're uh, I heard that Apple's conversation. About, like, We're talking about commensurate pay um, of health workers with other people in the private sector. Uh, they're not badly paid at all. Jonathan, right, the next time you come in and see us, so I can't wait to get always a pleasure, right, say you say you have a coronary, heaven forbid, touch wood, doesn't happen, right, there is a defibrillator here, I can give you mouth-to-mouth, or do you want the NHS to come and give you mouth-to-mouth? I can assure you, Rob, I don't want it to be you. <laughs> Give me God. Be God, my friend. Thank you, Jonathan. Jonathan Davis, economist and welfare advisor from Hertfordshire. Always end the conversation with a smile. That's the way to do this business.